Hey everybody, welcome back. Today is an amazing day. It's always an amazing day when you can light a forge. And today, we're gonna to be forging a San Mai blade. It's my first ever, so I'm kind of excited. Uh, this technique I'm gonna use though is gonna be a little bit different. I was, had the opportunity to meet a monk that lives in the hearts of the mountains of Mount Fuji that taught me the ancient, <laughs> I'm just kidding you. Um, I had a buddy of mine, he went out to Japan, he went down to the sword district, or steel district, sword district, something like that. And uh, he videotaped them making uh, their blades and uh, they used an interesting technique where they heat up the blade, they uh, dip the, um, what metal they're gonna forge on there. One second. I had to cut the video because a huge sweep street sweeper came by uh, but anyways yeah they heat up one blade the center core which I'm gonna use 1095 on and uh, they take the outer core and I'm gonna use uh, 15 in 20 and they dip that part in the flux and they slowly attach it to the outside of the core metal and they just tap 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 a roux on it until it's forged and then they flip it over on the other side and do the exact same thing I don't have a welder so this is what I'm resorted to do. Uh, maybe in the future I'm gonna to try to do that with a kumai or I'm gonna get baling wire. But let's go look at the Ford setup here. See that, I got my seat, my chair and everything. And I know what you're thinking, you shouldn't be sitting down while you're forging. Well, not everybody has to use a cane. I had an accident not too long ago and uh, I have to sit down or stand up. I can't sit and stand that long. But yeah, I got a little tiny forge here that's just great for my blades. I got a Harbor Freight anvil. I had to reshape the uh, horn to make it more flexible, more easier to run. It's not the best, but got a couple pair of tongs. I'm still working on new ones, uh, but it's all fun. My hammer that I refaced and reshaped to look like a dialect. And I got a flat face hammer with a uh, bevel on one end. So, like I said, this is going to be an awesome video, great time, and it's probably going to be multiple parts. So buckle down, get ready. We're going to have a great time starting now. Like I said, I already have my steel cleaned up acetone and cut out ready to go I'm gonna be using uh, I marked them here's my core steel which is a 1095 it'll be amazing because uh, I'll go ahead and put up a chart on the, the video to show the uh, different uh, Sam Mai techniques you can do you know what no I'm not gonna do that everybody does that if you want to look it up type in Sam Mai techniques Google it and it'll pop up all the different charts and patterns that you can use for uh, sand mine. But for this particular one, like I said, we're going to take the core and uh, I'm going to heat this up nice and hot and I'm going to dip this. I'm going to probably put some oil on here, maybe WD-40. Dip that directly into the flux. I use a uh, 20 mule team. And I'm going to put it on just like that. Bring it over the anvil and just tap it. Tap it. Heat it up, tap it, tap it, heat it up. And the sound you're looking for is a more solid sound. It won't have a, like rain dropping on a tin kind of sound. It's really, really a beautiful sound. And uh, then once this side's completed, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this side. Dip this in flux, put it on this side, and tap it, just like that. And as you can see, I'm leaving fingerprints and oil and all that, so I'm gonna have to re-acetone this and then I'll meet you over at the forge and we'll get it going and have a great time. It's always awesome when you get to light a big fire.
once it cools, I'll be able to grind off the side that I'm going to be forge welding another piece of uh, 15 end nickel. And uh, we'll meet back here at the forge. All right. just a little bit um, I got to put it back in the fire anyways to stretch it out and lengthen the blade so I can actually make a or the billet to make a nice blade um, but we're gonna do that on a different video this was just uh, forming a billet and for doing my first sand my without welding that is just phenomenal it came out excellent look at that and I went ahead and cut the core look at that if you can see it right there Look at that, all layers welded. First time, that is just kicking right there. Let's see if I can do it like that. Yep, all of them welded perfectly. Can't ask for anything better than that. All right then, like I said, in the next video, we'll be going back to the forge, we'll be lengthening this out and we'll put in some shape to it so finally look like a blade um, doing a hidden tang so we have to draw out this a little bit more and uh, put the shape in it for a hidden tang uh, i'm not exactly sure which type of japanese knife i want to shape it into but we'll find out then all right once again uh, this is ltd forge and thank you for watching